now to find the way in. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's remote. Good place to fly under the radar. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Well, tiddle me bollocks. It's like a wee little cop station here. What's it down, I wonder? Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Sure. I'm with you. But what were they working on that would lead them to the town bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Ah, this is all starting to come together. I knew Albion were grade A cunts, but working with Clan Kelly gives them something to hide. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. They're taking people off the streets. Zero day or not, we have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead.
please advise. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, Negative. may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brute refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead, sir. All units this is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shit. Well, good news it is. Deportees aren't leaving the UK. They just chuck them in the EPC and then they look the other way. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases centre around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. But let's find that guy and get out fast. If they work out Angel's dead sec before we find him, the nicest thing they'll do is kill him. Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Just keep me off their actual system, yeah? Christ knows I don't need any extra attention. No worries. I'll spoof. Welcome. What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. This is a fucking abomination. Nobody should be treated this way, let alone somebody whose only sin is being unlucky enough to be born in the wrong place. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Well, that checks out. Mary Kelly has her reeking tentacles choking out half the burrows in the city. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. No, nah, thanks. I'm not interested. Nah, thanks. I'm not interested. Could you back up, yo? <laughs> your bumbo clan? Selfish idiot! There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Are you me? Such an agent? Shut up, lost it. Done for now. Don't let them escape. Cancel the search. You are. 
What was that? <gasps> You're gonna eat let. Badly. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with dead sick. <sighs> I think you were picked up on some random sweep. Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. 
The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing of problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sec the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? That should have ugly. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Nicely done. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. J just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Ah! Fuck! What was that? That's some kind of implant. We need a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orgy that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. Ah, uh, so they put something in his neck. Maybe a tracker? A biometric monitor? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. 
not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Stay on him. He may have gotten away. up on him. Come on, Angel. Come on, lad, you can do this. She's gonna kill us. Nah, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's tube him, get him in the van, and out to the incinerator. What the fuck was that? That must have been the implant they stuck him with. Seems like they had to switch it on, right? If Mary Kelly's involved, this isn't good. But at least Angel might be alive. We need to find him. See what they did to him. And what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, zero day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. This is where the Kellys took Angel. Jesus Christ, the poor fucker. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Let's uh, hurry and access that network, shall we? Ah! 
I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. That's the mill, then. My oh my, deadbolt trumps technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Grant, just Grant. you we need to talk thanks for the distraction gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth a Sunday roast. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Hold on. You're Caitlin Lau. Police Inspector Caitlin Lau, right? We found your video logs. You went after Bloody Mary all by yourself. Very impressive. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. I wish you could say we did. A friend of ours disappeared from the EPC. The trail led here to this abomination. I was saying some dark shit, but this... Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of... human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. You should rest. Tell you what, we can get you somewhere safe. Short term, no strings. In the meantime, I'll find Angel in your files. They sound important. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Grant, after all this, Dead Sec will be having a closer look at Mary fucking Kelly. Could you use all the help we can get? <sighs> All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files.
I'll wait for your guy in here. And thanks for your help. There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Well, I'll go out on a limb and guess that none of these people volunteer to be downers. You got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now, let's find Angel before one of us loses their lunch. Fuck me. Look at these poor bastards. You can't tell one from the other. Bagley, any ideas? Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Movie shit, man. We have to stop Mary Kelly before she can do this to anyone else. Again, not Angel. She thought it through. Those microchips are probably filled with some sort of toxin that induces paralysis and asphyxiation. Intubation would prolong life until surgeons get round to them. So it keeps the organs fresh by killing them slow. Fucking animals! Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a dead sec priority. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. No kidding. Caitlin Lau here. I, uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now. Or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Sure, yeah, I get that. You've probably even got far on us, right? But if teaming up helps us stop Clan Kelly, that's what matters. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Bagley, I can't just decide what to do with these foils in the field. Let's get everyone together. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. Boat has been hacked. Searching for 